Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mitz and in today's video we're going to talk about how to reduce your carve times by making one simple change to your Onefinity settings. So let's get started. Before we begin, we need to ensure that our units of measure are set to metric. So go to settings, change it to metric, save it. The units that we're going to be uh, adjusting today is going to be to the max jerk. The max jerk is uh, defined as the time rate of change of acceleration. Don't ask me to explain it. I'm not uh, a physics major, but uh, there's a very good uh, video that I even understood, and I'll put a link to that video uh, in the description below. All right, I just loaded this uh, file called Frame, and the frame's 12 by 14, three quarter thick. It's a finishing file, it's a 3D file. And as you can see here, the time to carve is two hours, 46 minutes, and 59 seconds. So two hours and 47 minutes, roughly. And uh, the setting here, for my jerk is set to max jerk is set to 1000. So at 1000, it's going to take two hours and 47 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna air carve this now and uh, just so that you can see the speed that it travels at and we'll start it and continue. Okay, so that's at a thousand jerk. So now we're going to change it from a thousand to five thousand, and we'll see what that looks like. And we'll back this up, change that to five thousand, enter. That's for motor zero. Motor one, we'll do the same. And we'll change that to 5,000, hit enter. And motor three. And we'll do the same there. We'll save those settings and we will go back to the control screen. We'll reload the file and we will see what uh, we'll see what the time frame is. And I'm going to just change it to a different file and then come back to that. Frame, finish. And as you can see, I went from over two hours to just under two hours at 157. So now let's play that and air carve again. And let's bring this home first. Okay, and now we'll start the air carve again. And you can see how much faster it's going at 5,000 jerk. Okay, we'll stop that and we'll return to home. 
Okay, so now let's uh, take that up to 10,000 jerk. So let's go back to motors. And that's at 5,000 jerk. So 10,000 jerk. We'll enter that one for motor zero. Motor one. And then motor three. Okay, we'll save that. We'll again change out the file and then come back to it. And now we'll put the finishing file back in. Frame finishing. Okay, so now that that's loaded, we come up here and we can see that uh, it went down again to 142. So at 1,000 jerk, it uh, was 246, 247. At 5,000 jerk, it came down to 157. And at 10,000 jerk, it came down to 142.5. So now let's uh, go ahead and play this one and uh, see how much of a difference you can tell. All right, so now let's take it up one more time and we'll go to motor zero and we go to 15,000 jerk. And enter motor one, same thing. And on motor three, we'll do the same. And then we'll save that. Okay, oops, let's go back to the control panel. Okay, and now we'll put the file, uh, the finishing file back in. And again, this is going to take a few seconds uh, or a minute or so to fully update. Okay, and at 15,000 jerk, it comes down to an hour and 34 minutes and 56 seconds. Just to point out, um, I didn't adjust the feed rate in any way on any um, of the different jerk settings. So the feed and feed, feed and speed um, and plunge all remain the same. The only difference is the uh, change to the jerk settings. So let's uh, take a look at this one and see what uh, what that looks like. <laughs> start. So there you have it. When you get your Onefinity, the max jerk settings would be set to 1000. And for my particular file that uh, we covered today, that's two hours and 47 minutes. By increasing the max jerk to 5,000, that carve time went from 247 to 157, an hour and 57 minutes. Further increasing it to 10,000, shaved off an additional 15 minutes of carve time. And then from uh, 10 to 15,000, uh, takes off an additional eight minutes or 
a total carve time of an hour and 34. I wouldn't recommend going beyond the 15,000. As a matter of fact, Onefinity recommends not going beyond 15,000. And uh, quite honestly, the machine does really move that fast. Uh, I normally run mine at 10,000 um, only because there isn't a significant amount of uh, uh, time savings between 10 and 15. However, on occasion, you might want to take it there if you're doing extremely long, uh, long carves. Anyway, you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.